here working on our ball control. We've taped a square on the wall. Um, for the player, the goal is 50 in the square. Right now, she's working on her platform control, her shoulders forward, as much limited arm movement as she can. She's using her hips. As soon as we accomplish 50 into the square, we'll switch legs and do 50 more. These are good with injured players and players coming back um, and just need more reps on the wall. Second progression we will do is just putting our leg in a horizontal position, try to create again a different type of movement with our body while still maintaining our platform control. Again, the goal is 50 balls into the square until she can switch legs. When the goal is accomplished, she switches legs and moves on. Good, Batty. Okay, this is the hardest and by definitely the most difficult. So what Batty's trying to do here is create a nonlinear situation in which she's working on her shoulder angles. And right now she's trying to get her steady out, get that into the box. It's 50. Her sweet spot wants to be directly in center of that box. So she, right now she's working on her left shoulder down. Again, this is extremely difficult and fantastic just to get more reps working on nonlinear. Now, after we'll go through our wall progression, we'll take the player up and kind of work on some kinetic balance type situations. Again, using the hips, we put the square a little higher so we create a different trajectory of the ball. Our goal is still 50. As soon as she accomplishes 50 in the box, we'll switch legs. Again, this is good for camp drills, um, a lot of players in the gym, if you have a lot of wall space and definitely a great idea for those players coming back from lower limb injuries. We'll move on now to just reversing left foot forward, right foot forward, left foot forward, right foot forward. And in doing this we're getting the player used to taking any ball off the wall with our left foot forward or our right foot forward and Batty's doing her best to try to shift her weight left to right, right to left, left to right, right to left. Good Batty. And again, this one I would go to 100, 100 in the, in the box until we move on. And then the last progression of the series is we will take the player and take her nonlinear, working on that weight transfer into the box. And again, making sure the sweet spot is right into the middle of the box. And this will go back to 50 and 50. Good, so she's working on that nonlinear, really trying to keep her forward. Shoulders forward and dropping that left shoulder, good. Now we get the player nice and cardio, a lot of platform isolation. We can end with what I call a platform juggle. So this is pretty hard, but the goal here is to stick the ball in your sweet spot and never catch it. So players can work on their tracking, their feel touch for the ball. You can go as high as you want, as low as you want. And this is a fun little drill that you can definitely do at camp. Kids love it, adults love it, and it can isolate your platform and get a good touch on the ball.